What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be continuing to answer some of your questions regarding your luck journey. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first question I have here is, what age do you recommend starting locks on kids? Now, I recently did a video answering this particular question, and the reason why I really wanted to like isolate this question and do a video on it is because I have heard so many, you know, misconceptions I would say um, regarding children with locks and um, I thought obviously because on my channel I share my son's um, start a lock journey or his lock journey should I say and I showed you guys from the very beginning I thought it was very important to me to answer that question and also over the years I have had so many people ask me questions regarding you know lock, starting locks on their children etc so I did a video on that and I'll definitely go ahead and link it above here <laughs> for you to definitely go ahead and check out and I hope you guys find that very helpful because like I said I did isolate this one particular question and did a complete separate video on that so definitely check the cards above as well as in the description bar below all right so the next question here is how can I tell if my hair is budding okay so how can you tell if your hair is budding? Now, when your hair starts to bud, right, you will notice a lump in your starter lock. So whether you started with the comb coils, the two strand twists, or even instant locks, right, you will see um, like this little section that kind of just gets a little bit lumped up. I will try and insert a picture in this video um, to show you what it looked like, but, um, you will start noticing that and when you see that um, that indicates that your hair is budding it also comes around the quote-unquote ugly phase of your lock journey and again I don't believe any stage is ugly but the reason why I say that it's because a lot of people kind of identify with what particular stage of your lock journey that is so um, yeah and you usually experience this or yeah usually experience it around the second or to the three month mark of your lock journey so you will start noticing that your hair look a bit frizzy and it starts to lump up um in usually it is in like the middle section like say for example say this was a lock it will start lumping up like around this section here so um yeah but that's not to say um the budding can't be in other areas so don't take that as like oh i've got a lump right here so is that budding well keisha said it happens up here you know so it happens um anywhere um but usually it's usually at the top right there Okay, and the final question I'll be answering today is, I just started my lock journey yesterday with a two strand twist as shown in your video. What do I need to know? And first, before I jump into this, um, answering this question, I just wanna say thank you to every single person who has come through and showed me love in the comment section regarding starting their lock journey with the, um, the method I have shared on my page, more so the two strand twist. Um, I do enjoy and I love seeing seeing you guys' photos because some of you have sent photos to me via Instagram and you know I love reading the comments about you guys following these steps and trust me I've seen you guys photos as you guys know because I respond to you and it looks phenomenal great anyway let me answer the question now and um, so what do you need to know Okay, so what you need to know is you have to maintain your wash day routine, right? Don't fall off course of doing that at all because if you fall off course, your luck journey can probably not go down so well, okay? And don't worry about what time or uh, well, what time, but how long it sh should take you before you start washing your locks, okay? Because I did a video, I've got two videos on my channel. One is, I think it's when to wash your starter locks for the first time, and I did kind of explain, um, you know, why I believe you should not change your wash day routine. So I'll definitely go ahead and link that above as well as in the description bar below. And also, I did another video showing you if 
say for example you started your luck journey um, say today and then a week from today you feel like you need to wash your hair um, I show you if you start with a two strand twist method that is I show you what you can expect so I could definitely go ahead and link that above as well as in the description bar below for you to find out more information on you know how your starter locks would be impacted if you decide to wash your um, locks you know within the first week, second week, etc. Okay, so one of the things you wanna do is make sure you maintain your wash day schedule. Also, you wanna ensure that you um, are grooming your locks because I have also spoken about, you know, what could possibly happen if you don't groom your locks and that could be, you know, lint buildup or buildup of any other sort, right? And I'll also go ahead and link those videos as well for you to check out because I did go in details about you know what could be the outcome and also how to avoid these things as well oh and another one is moisturizing your locks now this is a big one I plan to do a video separate about this as well on how to moisturize your locks because there is a lot of confusion there is so many or should I say there are so many you know different um, advice from people in regards to maintaining um, a moisture routine and even though everybody's routine is a bit different I feel I have something to share in regards to that as well so I definitely go ahead and um, you know schedule that video in for you guys as well and is there anything else you need to do I could advise you of is oh yeah um, keep your head covered as well to um, avoid your locks becoming you know frizzy too quick or you know get messy or anything like that okay so that's all the questions for today but I just want to let you guys know that next week I will be continuing to answer further questions regarding your starter lock journey so you don't want to miss out next week because I am answering all you guys questions you know I love to um, give back to you guys and I know sometimes when I read it in the comments read it in the comments respond in the comments not everybody get to see the um the answer i've given to a particular person because believe it or not i get some questions some of the same questions over and over and over so i thought hey might as well do a video and answer it and hopefully um others would be able to see it so definitely tune in next week as i will have more questions being answered regarding your start a lot journey okay guys so don't forget to check the cards above as well as in the description bar below to check out the videos i have listed for you to go and you know get further answers regarding some of these questions being asked in today's video all right so until next week sunday at 6 p.m matter of fact i am not sure i think i'm gonna try 4 p.m because I don't know I'm gonna see how it goes so I'm gonna try 4 p.m. and um, if you guys like 6 p.m. okay if you guys prefer me to upload at 6 p.m. which is GMT which I believe is 12 p.m. EST um, let me know in the comments below if you prefer me to upload them earlier let me know as well but if I don't hear anything from you guys four o'clock next week okay oh and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you are not already subscribed so until next week sunday at 4 p.m for now i'll see you then